Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Iron Man 3 Malibu Mansion Attack, set number 76007. That's right, part of LEGO's Marvel Super Heroes line, we are now getting sets based on the upcoming Iron Man 3 film. And this specific set here is one of the larger ones based on Tony Stark's Malibu home, with the inside being his workshop where he builds the awesome Iron Man armor. So let's check this bad boy out. First of all, the box has got some great images of the set inside, though it does kind of show off the uh, mansion uh, scene in the little cliffside or the mountainside like in the films. Obviously, we're not going to have that. This is just going to be the little uh, building itself, as well as a helicopter. And as you can see, there are five different minifigures included. Now, the front's got some really cool artwork of the uh, helicopter actually attacking the Malibu Mansion. Uh, and might be a little bit of a spoiler alert on this box, but Pepper Potts is totally wearing the Iron Man armor on here. Something kind of interesting. And then the back of the box just shows off some more of the different features with the set. Uh, it's got some really cool looking sound effect type uh, blurbs on there to make it like a comic book and shows you all the different action features that are on there. So of course, opening up the box, we have three different bags that are numbered one, two, and three. To go along with that, we have two sheets of instructions that will help guide you through the process of putting these together. And as an added bonus, there's also a small little comic book inside that is done in the Lego style. So it actually is a Lego Iron Man little comic book. So that's kind of a neat little addition as well. Now, if you're familiar with putting together Lego sets, then you'll understand why the bags are numbered and how it works. Both instruction manuals kind of break down each bag uh, in specific by piece by piece. That way, it's very easy to put together. There are a total of 364 pieces included, and as long as you follow those instructions, you should have absolutely no problem putting this set together. You start off by building the helicopter, and then you end by building the Malibu Mansion of Tony Stark. It's not a very long process. It'll probably take you maybe 30 minutes or so to put together, but could even be quicker than that. Like I said, it's very straightforward. Just follow those instructions. It's a ton of fun putting these together, just like Legos always are. They all fit together very nice and snug. Of course, if you're familiar with Legos, you know exactly what you're building there. And when you're all said and done, you end up with this, the Malibu Mansion and the awesome helicopter, as well as our five different minifigures. So we'll go ahead and start by taking a look at the minifigures. Of course, you can't have an Iron Man set without Iron Man himself. So here we've got the Iron Man armor, and you can see it does have these cool little clip-on blue pieces uh, that act as the little flames that propel him for when he's hovering around and flying. Uh, these are just standard little clear Lego blocks so that you can clip them on the hands and the feet, but of course you don't have to have those on there if you don't want to do the flying pose. Now, the armor itself does have the ability to open up on the mask part, but as you can see, the head that's underneath the armor is just a plain white head. Now, luckily this set also includes a Tony Stark action figure. So, if you want to have Tony Stark outside of his armor, you've got the option to do that, but you can also pop off the Tony Stark head. We can put it on the Iron Man body. And then, of course, we can put the helmet on over that head, and now we've got Tony Stark under the Iron Man mask. So that's kind of cool that you can do that. And just like we've seen with a lot of Lego pieces uh, in recent times, there are two different faces on the Tony Stark head. So you've got the kind of smug, smirking head on one side, and if you flip it around, you've got the little more terrified head. He's kind of got the little screaming thing face going on, like he's concerned or upset or, you know, Mandarin's attacking, so this is serious business. <laughs> And then, of course, to go along with that, we also have Miss Pepper Potts. Now, just like the Tony Stark, you do have two different faces. You got the smiling face on one side, you got the more terrified face on the other side. And then, you know, because the front of the box showed us with this, I guess if you wanted to, you can always put uh, the Pepper Potts head on the Iron Man body. And, you know, now Pepper Potts is inside the Iron Man armor. <laughs> All right, so to go along with our heroes, we also get two villains. Of course, the new big villain from Iron Man 3, comic book villain, the Mandarin. And to go along with him, we have an extremist soldier. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the first part of the Lego set here. 
Let me just get some of these pieces kind of back organized. Uh, but the first part we're going to take a look at is the helicopter. The helicopter of the Mandarin, which is being used to attack Tony Stark's Malibu mansion. This is a really cool piece. I'm actually incredibly impressed with how well this whole thing came together. Uh, so much fun to build. I really love building this. Uh, you might have noticed that there was a small sticker sheet included as well. So while you're piecing these together, you will have a few decals to assemble, but it is very easy to apply these stickers I've always found. Uh, so you'll notice that he does have a little logo on the top of the helicopter. There's some little artwork on the sides of the helicopter, uh, but it's a very cool design. Uh, if you want to put a pilot in there, you know, you want the extremist soldier to pilot it, you just take the little roof off. There's a seat on the inside, so you can stick him in there. You raise his hand up so we can get him sitting in there. There we go. And then you can just pop the little roof back on there. So now our soldier is piloting the helicopter. You've also got the little open part in the center there and a the little platform sticking off where you can stick Mandarin as if he's riding on there. You'll also notice you got little missiles. There's four missiles on there. They are green. Uh, they don't actually have any projectile like spring-loaded mechanisms, but it does have that kind of feature where if you kind of pop them out a little bit, get them unlocked, you can do the flick, <laughs> and it does launch them. Uh, you got to give it a good flick, though, you know. Pew! There you go. <laughs> so you can actually fire the little missiles out of the helicopter, which is always a neat little feature. And of course the propeller does spin. It's nice and smooth on there and you got a propeller in the back too. So very cool design. You can see it's a really good size too. It's quite a large helicopter. So let's bring it over to the Malibu Mansion. Now first of all you will notice that the helicopter is pretty big when compared to the Malibu Mansion. Uh, this is just a small portion of the mansion. Uh, you can see it does have that cool rounded design like it is in the film where it's kind of sticking out of that cliff side or hillside there. Uh, very cool looking. You've got all these neat little windows going on here and you can see through the windows we do have some decals that we applied there. Uh, it's like the Tony Stark screens that he's got in his lab. So you got one uh, with image of the helicopter with some information pointing at it. You got a red alert little sticker over here. Rotate it around to the other side. You can see the cool little glass panels of the different Mark armors on there. Let's see, we got the Mark 7 and the Mark 6 are pictured on there. So it's a neat little design on the outside. It's got a nice cool little round uh, shape and design to it. But folding it around on the inside, of course, is where all the fun is because there are lots of neat little action features on the inside here. So let's go ahead and just kind of take the tour of Tony Stark's mansion so you guys can see what all's on the inside. Over here on the far left, we have a little kitchen area. So you can see we've got Tony Stark's little glass coffee mug is in there. There's a little blender in there. Uh, you've got little opening cabinet doors, which is a cool little feature. So, you know, Tony Stark's go over there, get himself some coffee or anything like that if he needs to. Then that's going to bring us over to the other side of those little blue panes we saw. Uh, it's kind of like his Hall of Armor almost, but or they're like monitors, uh, just showing off the different armors in there. Um, maybe they're behind glass cases, maybe that's what it's supposed to be. But you can see there's a little platform so you can stand Tony Stark on the little platforms in front of the armor if you don't drop him around like I am. There you go. Tony Stark in front of the little platforms or you kind of look at his armor on there. So that's a cool little design. And like I showed you from the outside, these are the other side with the windows. It's got the little uh, alert pan panel on there and the helicopter panel. So you can get some really cool poses of Tony Stark using his little futuristic uh, monitor equipment like he's always using in the films, which is really cool. On the center here, you got this little rotating base, which has also got two more screens on there. That's got some images of the Iron Man armor on there. So you can have Tony positioned up on his little rotating base as if he's working on his little monitors there, working on the screens. And then down below, we have a little workstation. You can see there's a little workbench in front of him. There's a little yellow toolbox with a wrench and a little hammer. So you can have Tony down there working on the Iron Man armor. Maybe you want to put like the Iron Man helmet on the workbench. You can have him down there working away, building at the armor. So there's a lot of cool little details on the inside there. And of course, there's plenty of spaces that you can stand uh, Tony Stark. You can stand Pepper Potts if you want to. Maybe you can uh, pretend like the armor isn't being manned right now. You can stand the armor back over here, ready to be picked up by Tony Stark. And here's another fun little feature. Also included is Tony Stark's little worker robot. You know the little worker robot that's always in the film. So he's there. He's got his cool little handle. And one of the neat little things we got him holding onto here is the little briefcase. Uh, it does have decals on it that make it look like the armor that Tony used in Iron Man 2. Um, so you know you can have Pepper carrying around his Iron Man's briefcase there. You can have the robot carrying it around if you want to. Or another fun little feature, 
There is a little fire extinguisher on the side of the robot here. So you can pop that off. The robot can hold the fire extinguisher, and then you can recreate the scenes with, you know, the robot hosing down Tony Stark with the fire extinguisher from the film, stuff like that. So that's kind of a fun little uh, accessory to have on the inside there. Now, there are some neat little action features as well, because, of course, the Mandarin's closing in with his helicopter. He's got to do some damage, right? We already, already showed you how he can fire off those missiles to attack the mansion. Well, this mansion has exploding mechanisms. Check this out. First of all, if you look around on the back side, you see we got one of these cool little red levers. Now, this is a neat little action feature that I've seen LEGO put into some of their larger playsets to uh, kind of mimic the exploding feature. So you got the little red uh, lever there. This is actually connected to the little base that we've got uh, the little Iron Man armor standing on front, in front of right here. If we rotate this red lever, what's going to happen is it explodes from the inside. The floor panels explode out, knocking over Iron Man right there. So that's kind of a cool little explosion. But it's not the only explosion in this set. You'll also notice we got another gray lever up here at the top. This here is actually connected to one of the windows on the front. So if you lower this lever down, boom, the window explodes out of the front. And it's very easy to reapply. You can just pop that right back in place. It flips the lever back up. So this is a really cool way you can pretend like the helicopter's flying in. Mandarin knows exactly where Tony Stark's mansion is. Pew, pew, pew! Now we got explosions. The mansion's blowing up. Now Tony's got to fly out, and he's got to fight against the Mandarin. Ah! <laughs> so it's really cool. There's lots of cool little uh, play features in there. Uh, it's really neat that it comes with so many different little accessories, and I love all the little minifigures. So... That's pretty much it, guys. That's a look at the Malibu Mansion attack set, part of the brand new Iron Man 3 line from LEGO. Uh, like I said, this one's a lot of fun. I think the overall design is really neat. I love how they were able to capture the look of Tony Stark's mansion. It's a little small, obviously, uh, especially in comparison to the helicopter, but it's neat how we got the nice rounded off look to it. Uh, it's very cool looking. And then on the inside, we got a really cool looking little lab that Tony Stark can do some work in. It's got some fun little features, love the exploding mechanisms. And the fact that we get five little minifigures is always a bonus. And these are some really cool minifigures. Love the Iron Man. Uh, really cool that you can lift the faceplate up on it. Uh, neat that you've got the option of changing the heads on there. So very cool looking little set. So there you go, guys. Uh, this particular set is starting to hit stores right now. I found this one at Toys R Us, uh, which seems to be the first place that's getting it. So if it looks like something you want to pick up, you might want to check there. Happy hunting. And until next time.